All right, so I'll start us off. Uh, hello, everyone. This is Austin. Uh, this game, second game of the the afternoon, I've brought Kethis the Hidden Hand. This is Abzan Legendary Spells Matter, uh, Legendary Lands Matter. Uh, not so much on the Planeswalkers. There's a couple sprinkled in here, but the main point is those creatures. I'm a really big fan of uh, recovery. So when board wipes happen, I'm like in uh, in save me mode. You know, <laughs> I, I like to be able to exile the cards from my graveyard to recur some of them back. And so play a bunch of creatures and hope uh, hope I can uh, do well after that. Uh, it's a it's a fun it's a fun deck. We'll we'll see how it plays. Obviously, uh, it'll be very interesting to play against another legendary deck, but we'll we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, next next in the turn order is Mr. Combo. So why don't you go ahead and? Yeah, hey guys, uh, Mr. Combo number five from CMD Tower, and I'm gonna be playing Girid Conclave Exile. Um, you know, I, I'm kind of our one of the podcasts that we do that comes out every week is called Brews and Builds, and it's all about getting your path to 32, one of every single color combination. And honestly, uh, red, green, white seemed pretty boring. Um, but when I saw Gearid come out, I thought, huh, well, red has a lot of really cool token effects, but a lot of times those get exiled or sacrificed or they, they just don't exist at the end of the turn. So Gearid has a cool way of populating. And so if I make a really cool token, well, I'll just make an extra copy of it and keep the copy. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Nice. Very cool. Yeah, very cool. All right, PJ. Is that we'll... me next? Yeah, what do you got? Uh, money can't buy knives. We got Sisse Legendary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been playing this deck for a while. I really enjoyed this deck. Uh, basically, it's just trying to assemble all of the legendary equipments onto my command. And uh, it's a very chill deck. It's very slow, uh, but it just makes me happy. So that's what we're doing today. <laughs> Always, always fun to for happiness above, above, uh, <laughs> above the uh, power level, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, unless everyone's playing on the same power level. Have some glasses. Uh, cool, cool. All right. Well, Justin, what do you, what are you bringing? I see, uh, I see a pile of of cardboard, literal cardboard. That's uh, right. right uh, this is probably one of my favorite things that I do on the Instagram page, uh, Red Zone Gaming, and. Uh, it's my unsleeved Abzan plus one plus one counters deck. It has a lot of good cards used in not so good ways. And uh, it's mainly for fun. I just want to shuffle some unsleeved cards up and watch people groan as I do so. But <laughs> right. yeah, it's, it's a fun deck. Um, it's not that oppressive or anything like that. I don't know. It's just a bunch of cool cards that put plus one plus one counters and I did let everybody know ahead of time, but there's one unstable card in here as well. So hopefully we'll see it and it'll be a fun time. <laughs> All right. Well I won the die roll, so I'm gonna be starting us off here with a tapped myriad landscape. That's it. Pass pass All to right. your combo. I uh I wish I brought my Get silver border cards because nothing makes me happier than uh three headed yes <laughs> <laughs> living that triple strike lifestyle uh, pj your turn my turn all right <laughs> oh yeah it's that new card i just put in my deck sweet we'll see it in a turn or two uh there's a savage lands tapped go all right draw my card and i will play Sand Step Citadel in tapped. All right. Go ahead. Uh, let's see. What do I got here? Hmm. I've got actually multiple turn two plays. Nice. But some of them involve uh, having having mana. So we're going to pay a life. Go down to 39 already. You know. It's not it, worth it. It is worth it. Got to hit those <laughs> colors. Uh, and then it's going to be... A way to hopefully hit my land drops which will be let's see this one says creature uh yeah okay mulch oh mulch. yeah so yeah. that'll that'll get me my lands uh so reveal the top four put all lands into my hand the rest in the graveyard that was just a scatter grows to hand we lost soul ring we lost beast whisperer uh Mar marwin nice nice uh ramp once once i get it back maybe we'll see 
Uh, other than that, I'm feeling okay, so I will I will pass from there. All right. I can make it work. We're gonna play a gruel oh. turf. Put the scatter groves back to hands. Three, six, eight, and I'm gonna have to move to discard. Uh oh. Uh, we will discard. Oh wait, this was by choice. I was like, scatter groves. I thought yep. you missed the land drop. <laughs> uh. No. Pass. What was the discard? Uh, scatter groves. Scatter groves. Cool. All right. Uh, I'm gonna play this nomad outpost, and uh, I'll say go. Delicious. So the way I have this deck built right now, the game doesn't actually start for me until turn. That's right. fair. <laughs> uh, I'll see your tapped land, and I'll put in murmuring bosk. I love murmuring bosk. And I will uh, tap a black, and I will play retribution of the ancients. Foil unsleeve. <laughs> right. What does that do? What is that? Uh, pay a black and remove X plus one plus one counters from creatures I control to give target creature minus X minus X until the end of turn. Oh, that Oops. seems relevant. Yeah, it's kind of a nice little uh, removal spell for the deck. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Okay, untap. If we draw an untap source, which we did, go ahead and play a forest. That is going to change my entire turn. I'm going to pass. That is. <laughs> uh, no, I'll just mirror landscape now. Get it out of the way. Crack it. And. All right. Let's go. Double swamp. Which I think Let's go is. Go mana confluence. Oh. Nice. I will take a life. Fancy. Uh, put a green there. and play a Vidu Gazi Guild Mage. <laughs> Can you? Can you spell that for me? <laughs> uh, v i t u hyphen g h a z i. Basically, I could pay four colorless Silencia, create a three-three green centaur, two colorless oh, Silencia. Oh right, populate. right, right. I like this guy. Uh, pass. Yeah, that's a fun one. What's the gist of it? Make a creature, and what's the other one? Uh, populate. Populate. Yeah, I think it's the populate that uh, is what really drives that card home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Making a centaur. Right, this. this is my new card. It's this Pendlehaven. It's a legendary land. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I, I don't think I have Pendlehaven in here. I might. You know what? I'm shuffling right now. I'm just going to take a quick peek. Well, uh, occasionally. I can't remember. Um, is Pendlehaven like 6 or $7? I have no idea. Oh, okay. I think, I think it is. That's why I'm not playing it, probably. Yeah, I guess we go for this first. Uh, let's get Kethis into play. Yeah, I don't and know if I mentioned this in my go. intro, but this is a budget deck. So, um, no, we're running Pendlehaven. Yes, cool. Sweet. I just have a different art. Uh, you may go. Man, all this Kethis. Uh, all right, untap. See, I have it in here because there's one card I need to add. I can't think of the name of it. It's like. It's one blue, and you can turn a permanent any number of colors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't have that card, but I need to get one. But also, periodically, you activate Sisse and don't have enough power for anything. You can get a legend. So, you know, if we're in emergency <laughs> mode. Right. You know I'm going to have to come after you right now, PJ, right, for playing Kalos. Uh, three colorless. I'll just play a Mana Geo and scrying one. There can only be I'll one. I'll put that on the bottom. It's and cool. I will pass there. It's in here for value. Oh, I get it. I know why it's in there. It's in there just to spite me. <laughs> Stare you in the face. It's actually been like a pretty cool card in the deck. All right, I think we're paying like... another life here because colors matter. Uh, we'll go to 38. Play Kethis, but before I manage my life total, I'm also going to play a Jorana Liberator of Malakir. So With the two when it, mana flyer. Yeah, when it attacks, uh, it, it's going to deal um, first strike damage and give everything a plus one plus one counter. It's flying first strike two, two yep. three. Um, it's it's nice. It's a good card. It's cool. Some good combat tricks. Uh, I'm going to be passing from here, and it only cost me two mana there because you know Kethis yeah. reducing Pretty its. Uh, yeah. So go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Combo. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's just uh, bounce this mana confluence. I'll play a Boros Garrison. Nice. And, uh, 
you know, I think I'm going to swing at Justin for two. Ouch. Get him. My blood. And I'll pass. My glasses. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to play this irrigated farmland tap. I'm going to cast my commander for two, man. Uh, and then... I guess combo, I'll send three your way. Sounds good. And that'll do it. All right. So that'll put you at 37. How big is the Drana, just so I know? Drana is a 2-3 first strike flyer. Okay. Because she doesn't give the plus one counters to herself? Uh, she does, but the way it works is that she deals the damage, then gives the counter. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. So, my fun friends. Uh, let's go white. One, two, three. Uh, let's play Shalai, the voice of plenty. Oh, yeah, that's a card. And then I'm really excited. Hangman! <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, as Hangman enters the battlefield, I'm going to secretly note a word with six to eight letters. I'm going to write it down now. Uh... Can we get Hangman up on screen? I'm going to need to read that one a few times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, it has one target okay. player who doesn't control Hangman guesses the noted word or an unguessed letter in that word. If I'm he or she that. guesses wrong, Put a plus one, plus one counter on Hangman. Any player may activate this ability. So you can activate it and then have somebody else guess a letter. When the player guesses the noted word or all of the letters have been guessed, sacrifice Hangman. Still trying to get Shalai up on, on, on board first. And then Hangman might be a bit... Is it Hangman one word? Yep, yes. Hangman one word. Okay, it may show up. I believe it does, yeah. They have the uncards. Okay, uh, yeah, so that's that's Hangman. Enjoy enjoy reading that big block of text. Um, I know that you just explained it, but, you know, if anyone wants to read it again. You know? It's still not doing anything for me. I still got to read it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I have it pulled up in a separate tab in my browser. Right, right. Yeah, same. So, <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> so we can pay one, guess the word or player uh, who doesn't control word. Hangman. Yep. Guess is a noted... Oh, I see. So, so basically, we should just leave it alone, or you can choose to guess yourself. He can choose. No, he can activate it and yeah. have one of us three do it. Right. Okay. Or you can activate it and make one of y'all. Oh, guess I see. As well. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm gonna say I'm uh, okay for now, and just uh, <laughs> play out my play out my turn real quick, because uh, it's my go after that, right? Yep. Yes. Cool. So we draw. And hmm, I just drew a card that might change my entire turn. Didn't you say that last time? I know. Every time I draw, yes. I keep drawing. <laughs> I keep drawing stuff. Oh man, I don't know. I guess I'm okay to continue as is. I just feel really bad because then it leaves me with no play whatsoever. Like I just play the one card. Okay, forget it. Let's go three mana play my own shalai you know so everyone's playing the same cards here yeah yep. i'm not gonna lie y'all have casted a lot of cards that i have in this deck <laughs> right uh so that's fun that's <laughs> that's one good thing uh then we're gonna play a vivian's arc bow for a single good. mana nice huh. yeah it's it's pretty nice um I have a lot of War of the Spark. I've been thinking that I should, like, use that card. Yeah, so basically it's just, like, you know, whatever mana cost you essentially want to pay because you discard a card and pay X. You know, like, if, if you're looking for a 5 CMC, you're going to look 5 deep, and you're probably going to yeah. find a 5 CMC. So Not just, in this deck. They're all 6. <laughs> well, you, I mean, same, same idea, you know. 
and then we're also going to play this gather the pack gather the pack says i look at the top five put a creature from among them into my hand and the rest go into the bin which nice. is exactly what i want and i think i do not have spell mastery no i don't i'm one unless it counts itself which i don't think it does spell mastery is upon uh, activation not resolution so we'll just go ahead and because if i if i did i got two uh two creatures from among them into my hand i forget i haven't used the uh, haven't used that stuff recently yeah i believe it's upon resolution um and who what are we picking here everyone's playing some good things no one's really done anything too crazy we've done fun things right exactly fun let's see one two three four five six do i have a land in hand yeah but it's a tapped one all right let's just go ahead and grab a stow rev uh the rest are Ooh. god eternal oketra and and gaunti are going to the bin but still Rev can get one of them back, so that was my intention by grabbing that one. Who's open? I am not. I actually have blockers. I uh, am. What is what is uh Sisse's power right now? Uh we got She five is five. a five five. A five five, wow. That's yeah. Weird. How is it so powerful? Uh them three them three color legendaries. Mm, okay, we'll take uh take two in the air. And then combo take uh, four on the ground because that's drawn as ability is going to trigger first before. No blocks. Yeah. No blocks. So that'll put you at 33 and PJ at 38. And all my, my team's got plus one, plus one counters. I'm passing from here. Ah oh, crap, I forgot to put that Shadow Spear in this deck. I just remembered that. Oh, oh yeah. No. We talked about that, I think, the last time you played this. Was... I know, I just it's been sitting on my counter for like three weeks. Right. Mana confluence. Uh okay. And uh on my turn I drew I play this card and then I will that was a land by the way. I'm gonna try this Marari's Wake. Oh, yeah. That is a big resolution. Um, there's a Gazi thing. There's a uh, yeah. I think I'm good where I am. I'm gonna pass the turn. All right. Untap. Drop. Uh, I'll play a forest, and I will tap green, black, and one. I will cast Rayhan. Last yep. of the Abzan. Oh, yeah. I will uh, plop three plus one plus one counters on him. And then uh, right away, just so I've got something to deal with some of this spoopy ground force you got going on here. Uh, Rancor. Rancor. <laughs> nice. So Rayhan is a 5-3. Right. Well, luckily it can't attack right now. That's one positive, you know. He's strictly in defense mode, uh, right. Yu-Gi-Oh style. Um, yeah, and I, I don't really, I don't need to go into a aggro, so I'm just gonna sit, and my hangman will continue to do his little dance. <laughs> yep. All right, pass turn. Okay, so I will untap. Let's draw land. That is a land. This is a painful land. This is a tomb of Arami. <laughs> uh, it deals one damage to me if I don't control an ogre, which is... <laughs> I'm not controlling Very ogres. flavorful. Right. Uh, but I'm okay with that because it means I get to play two things this turn, which is always nice. Uh, so those two things are play one, Guardian Project, uh, whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under my control, I get to draw a card, which, uh, you know, this deck plays a few creatures, I think I mentioned, and the cost reduction makes it well worth it. Uh, and then it's going to be three mana, losing a life, and playing Storev. So we got him out, we lose a life, 
And we trigger its ability to draw a card. I don't know, man. Is it worth paying all that life to play all those cards? Uh, yeah. I mean, I've paid three so far. Doesn't seem play. worth it. It's, uh, it's kind of worth it. Uh, we're going to head to combat. PJ, you still have no flyers. So we're going to get in yeah. for... Uh, it's going to be three and five. So it's going to be eight heading your way. Very rude. It's very, and very rude. Then... No blocks. <laughs> hmm. I feel like I've sent a, maybe I've sent enough towards combo. I'll leave uh, I'll leave my guy back on defense. So you take seven then, PJ. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, no blocks. Or sorry, eight, eight. I'll put you at thirty. Okay. As you could tell, I had no removal for the Marari's Wake, so I'll be passing. <laughs> That's uh, that's good. Usually you just blow up all my stuff and then I don't get to do anything. <laughs> right. I don't have any removal currently. Yeah. Um. I'm in like that weird CMC where I actually can't maximize my um, Anna. Mm. Um, hey G3, right. welcome. Well, Thanks for hanging out with us. Cast Geared make a rhino makes a second rhino nice and uh i think i'm just gonna pass yeah so much zoo living that rhino lifestyle uh <clears throat> do i have a forest or a plains that's a plains cool i don't know that it actually matters um play this sun petal grove and 12 mana a lot of mana uh i'm gonna pass wow uh, end of your turn yep would you kindly guess a letter with hangman uh me yeah i'd like to buy a vowel let's try an a there are no a's <laughs> And then you can try one more time for 200. Uh, let's go for an E. There are no E's. <clears throat> so, so far we've gotten one T. You've so, gotten one T, that is correct. I, I'm going to say this for the table. I'm going to guess it's Fibblefip. Well, it I'm just paying to do it. Ah. It's, uh, it's six to six to eight letters. You do have to pay to do it if you want to. Right. Yeah, correct. I was just okay. assuming that maybe you're going to metagame and actually have no Owls, just no, that would be so. <laughs> That'd be pretty. Guys, do, do you, I you... obviously need to play with you all more. You, you don't, you don't know me enough yet. Are you able to, uh, like, tell us how many letters there are in the in the? Card I game? I am not. Okay. And I don't have to tell you in what Secret order man. they are either. Gotcha. Ah. Wow. So that 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 guy can grow. Not like Hangman at all. No, it's I not know. like Hangman the, at all. The other really thing, and, and I will tell you this because again, I am all about mild fairness. Uh, if a letter is in the word more than one time, I will also let you know that. Okay. okay. So you so don't, even, you don't even have to fortune. do that. No, I don't. It's it's kind of a cruel... I mean, that's why he's a villain. It's cruel. Right. Uh, <laughs> but I'm all about a little bit of fun. So I will draw my card. Woof. Uh, that's a cool card. Uh... I'll pay a green, a green, and then one, two, three. I will play a Colonian Hydra. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Which Hydra is that? Uh, this is the, uh, it comes in with four counters, and it has yeah. Trample. And then whenever it attacks, I double the number of plus one, plus one counters on each creature I control. Here, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. That's right, it's a pretty good card unsleeved. I was rifle shuffling that. Shame on me. Uh, and then I will pass turn. I have uh, Gargo's Hydra Tribal built, except I'm missing like 20 Hydras. I've got like four of them. But <laughs> so I have, have a like, lot of every other green staple ready to go. <laughs> Listen, up. if you're playing Gargos, all you need is four Hydras. Real in reality, you just want to be able to like play one mana spells and fight everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every turn. yeah. 
Uh, anyway, I'm done. That's that's my turn. Oh, okay. Untap. Let's see what we uh, see what we get here. I should probably bring that out next time. We'll see how it's doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, what can I cast from my bin? Probably a couple things. Okay, so I will play a planes for turn. I will exile a Bantu's monument and Gaunti to be able to cast things from my bin. Um, actually, maybe it won't be Gaunti because I really need to answer some things. Let's let's exile Marwin instead and keep Gaunti because I'm gonna actually try and play Gaunti. Ooh. I know it's it's pretty fancy. Uh, so Gaunti is a fancy lad. First, we're going to play hmm, two mana for a. No, that's not right. Counting my mana real quick. Okay. We're going to pay four and cast God Eternal Oketra, which mm. is going to trigger Guardian Project to draw me a card. And then I believe I might play Gaunti. You know, I'll leave him in the bin only because I drew something else instead. So we'll go ahead and cast a Hazaret's Monument and a Vivian Champion of the Wild. So. Why now? Let's start with Oketra, just to show everyone uh, what is going on. Um, did the stream crash? Uh, no, no, no we're game. still good. We're still good. So God Eternal Oketra is out, and then Hazaret's Monument. Because I also assume that PJ has some kind of you know response to everything that I'm doing here. Only if I have to. Right, only if you have to. <laughs> uh, I mean, I do appreciate your your willingness to keep yourself around, you know, um, <laughs> and, and no one else. Uh, we're gonna minus Vivian first. Put it down What's to, the minus, the minus is going to say that I look at the top uh, three cards in my library and I can exile a creature face down and if uh, I can play it at any time, essentially. Or exile okay. a card face down, and if it's a creature, Correct. I can play You can it. cast it at whenever. All right. For its, for its mana cost. So that'll go down to two. And now we're going to head to combat. Hmm. Everyone's got things now. PJ is over here passively threatening me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not passively threatening. Like I don't want to have to answer your board. I have right. other things I want to do, but no, if you make no. me have to, then I will. This is a passive threat. We're gonna. Oh, you, you know, I didn't actually put counters on everything last turn either. That was something that should have happened. Uh, we're we're swinging at PJ in the air again, but I'm also swinging elsewhere. So it's up to you whether you wanna. What's the what's the po highest power on the? I guess both of your guys' board combo and Justin. What? Four. Um, flying or non-flying? Uh, in general. <laughs> uh, five power is my highest power I've got. Okay. Uh, Ray Hot and Rancor. Well, I still think, I still think it might be a good idea to leave Kethis back. So we'll go ahead and I'm gonna attack you, Mister Combo, with uh with Stowrev. It's a trampling six five. Uh, can I get a size on the flyers before the counter hits? Yeah, it's a four. And a, uh, it's a, f a four, five, and before first strike damage, the other one is a five, six. Four, five, and a... Five, six. Five, six. Um, I'm also very interested to see what your response is, considering that I have hexproof and my other permanents have hexproof. At least it's tap down. It's, that's a chunk. Should probably do something, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, Bring it. Activate, activate Sisay twice. Okay. 
So is it just looking for blockers, maybe? I don't know. Uh, we'll start with a hammer of Nizan. Okay. Actually, hold on. Let me double check. That's No, I don't have enough for that one just yet, but that'll probably be the Not same. enough power. Well, remember, if you grab a red-blue, um, that'll pump Sisse for the second activation. You'll be able to grab a seven or more. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got a plan. More. I've got a plan. <laughs> I think it's flying blockers, maybe. We'll see. Somebody's got to deal with the Marari's Wake, right? Have to is such a strong word. <laughs> I mean, well, if somebody wants to draw me like six cards, maybe I'll hit one. What was it from last game? If I can't deal with the permanent, I deal with the player. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> was, that's my general story. solution to a lot of things. Right. But, you know. <laughs> uh, double strike Aurelia, go to combat is usually, you know, some sort of... Well, oh, here's my here. solution. There Nine damage. Alright, so let me just double check all my numbers here. Um, that's currently a 5-5. Five, five. That makes it a 6-6. Six, six. This will add blue. That'll make it a 7-7. Seven, seven okay, so activation number one will be Raph Capuchin. You have a Raph. And activation number two will be Nizan, Reverend Bladesmith. Getting Hammer of Nizan, put it on Raph. Okay. Raph has uh, flying, right? Uh, Raph does have flying. Yeah, which is weird. But okay, I'm accepting of it, you know. Uh, what were the... So you had a 5-6 and a what? I have a 4-5 and a 5-6. 4-5. Uh, what's Which one's the 4-5? The 4-5 is Drana. Yeah, I'll block Drana. Okay, and what's your guy's power? Uh, it's gonna have five, uh, six power. So Drana will die. Yep. And you will take, uh, you will take just five in the air because Drana has to deal the combat damage to a player. Cool. Player. And uh, I'm gonna double block with my rhinos on that six five. Okay. Goodbye, Stowrev. All right, we did what we could. This is it. My board's gone. Goodbye. I mean, I've got some things still. I'm just, uh, I'm done from here. I think there's. Okay. Draw. So you still took five, right, PJ? Yeah, I'm at twenty-five. Cool. Got him. Um. Hmm. Let's see. So your deck takes a while to work, PJ, if you don't have Marari's Wake, right? Yeah, is that, no, is that, it's, okay. It's, <laughs> it's the slowest thing imaginable when no Marari's Wake. <clears throat> it also uh, can't beat a Cyclonic Rift. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, you don't have to worry about that for me. No. You know what I mean? There's like there's a very specific order in which things need to happen, all very expensive mana wise. Although I do so. play uh, Winds of Abandon. That's a card that. Uh, I can recover better from that than a than a rift. Yeah, that's true. It's not gonna feel great, and I'm not gonna love it. But like, yeah, rift is just. Uh, I mean, yeah, it it'll eventually. I don't know if it'll get banned. I mean, that's one of the cards that people talk about. You know, is like the boogeyman. Right. But we've kind of stopped playing it uh, in our our gameplay videos. Uh, trust any Silencia's voice. Modo, because I mean, it's almost like everyone loses a turn, maybe two. Right. Maybe you know what I mean? Yeah, so uh, that's what, or the game. That's what yeah. that's what ends up happening. So it slows the game down by two turns. M creates an arch enemy, you know. Yep. Um, so that'll make like... it your turn, PJ. Oh, what? Me? You and make sure tap. you uh, dick me down one for the mana confluence. Right. It should be at 32. <clears throat> uh, I would like to go ahead and activate the hangman twice. All right, sounds good. Uh, I will try an O and a U. There is one O and one U. Ooh, Ooh yeah, we got so we got a T O, -O and a U, a U in there. So All Hangman right. does not get any counters. <laughs> So what happens if we guess all the letters? Do we also have to figure then out what it is? 
Well, yeah. no, so I you, guess all the letters. To... you can guess okay. words too. You don't have to guess just yeah. letters. Well, yeah, yeah, I understand that. Yeah. I just didn't know since you can't tell us what order the letters go in. If yeah. even if we get all the letters, we still have to like figure out what the word is. Yeah, I, I think that will be the case. I'll tell you the word if you guys guess all the letters. Austin, how many blockers do you have? Does it look like two? Two. Double striker. Was it Kepis and Oketra? Oketra, yep. yep. Interesting. Um, who would do that? Do I want to? I'm going to dig for an answer. That was beautiful, Mr. Combo. Oh, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> interestingly, focus is a thing with these cameras, you know. Yeah, I got to figure out how to, what I need to do now, because now it's like I got a 4K webcam, hardlined. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is on my Mac Pro, so it's not lacking in power, but still has that little bit of graininess. Right, yeah, mine's the same way. I, I just had to, like, essentially you just have to blast it, you know, with a with a light in order to prevent the graininess. That's the only way to get it to really, really hmm. work out. How grainy does mine look, just out of curiosity? No, yours looks great. Thank you. <laughs> He's like, I know. <laughs> uh, I think I also my sleeves in particular, like I, I particularly chose these ones for the least amount of glare. And for some reason, sure. they always feel like they're frosted, you mm. know, when they're on camera. Like does you that can mean that really cool sleeve. Right. I mean, it's the it's the eclipse sleeves. Yeah. Um, uh, combo. You got ground blockers. Yes, sir. Two five. Two, 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 five. Ground blockers. Yep, I've got a five three four four three three. All right. Looks like I'm doing this then. Uh, Austin. Yep. Yes. Uh, Raf Capuchin, your way. Trigger, Nizan. Tap Oketra. Mm -hmm. Oketra's tapped. Can he tap uh, it? Because it has hexproof. Oh, it has hexproof. My board has hexproof. Oh, your hexproof. Yeah, I'm hexproof. Yeah, I... yeah. Okay. Well, that doesn't matter. Thankfully, that doesn't matter. Um, any blockers? For the flyer, no. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I attacked you with my flyers. Did you want to attack Vivian? Just wondering. No. Okay. I mean, it's really scary, you know. <laughs> it's spooky. Give me one second. Have that line produced? Okay, that doesn't help me. Um, How much is that? I would that? then like. I would then like to play this Elbrus the Binding Blade. Ooh. In response. And. And free equip it to the Raf Capuchin. All right, that does something. I vaguely remember what that does from the last time. Uh, uh, so deals combat Raph... damage, unattach it, transform it. Right. Yeah, it'll turn into Withingar Unbound. Yep. And then when someone uh, loses the game, you have a. You could put thirteen thirteen counters on it, but it's a flying trample intimidate thirteen thirteen. Yes. Great. That is all very correct. So that'll be five. Uh, let me see. Plus that is that's five damage. Wait, how big is it? Six, seven. Uh, so we'll be hitting Austin for seven in the air. Yeah, he's what hitting me for that? seven. Uh, it's it's a it's indestructible. I know. It, it's toughness is five, I think. Uh, the toughness on Raf is currently four. Four. Based okay. on the Marari's wake. Gotcha. How much does it cost to re-equip the Binding Blade? Uh, the binding blade is one to equip. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, proceed. Uh, so seven damage to seven. Did I say seven? That's yeah. Five, I'll, I'll take six, seven. Seven. Seven damage to Austin. All right, I'm down to thirty. All right, flip into Withingar Unbound. You've got Withingar. I've got Withingar. <laughs> My favorite card. Why not? <laughs> and let's see.
think. Yeah, that is a big demon boy. <laughs> yeah. Just a bit. Yeah, I think that's good right there. I'm going to pass my turn. All right. Uh, end of your turn. Austin, why don't you guess a letter mm. or word? Okay, trying to think of what we've... I guess we'll go S. I think that's the letter. There is no S. Okay. So I will get a plus one counter. Thank you for playing. Right. <laughs> Hangman. I'll put his dice in his hand there. <laughs> I'm just having way too much fun with it. Uh, this card stays. Um, all right, so. We're going to pay you black and four. Uh, it'll just be green off the box, so I won't take any separate damage. Uh, let's do Eldest Reborn. OK. Which opponent will sacrifice a creature or planeswalker? Uh, I can't say I love that. You'll be fine. Uh... Creature or planeswalker? I can sacrifice a yeah. planeswalker? Goodbye, Vivian. You can. <laughs> <laughs> I barely hey, knew guys, you. I dealt with Vivian. All right. I mean, I like Vivian, but I mean, I can still cast yeah. the card underneath it, so it served its purpose. <laughs> uh, Nazan, you did your job. And... Let's see. Uh, Oketra's got double strike, right? Correct. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and what's her toughness and power right now? Uh, it's a 3-6. Three, 3-6, six. Three, six. okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to declare attackers, and I will attack... Yeah, Austin, I'm going to attack with my Colonian Hydra at you, and then uh, uh, Mr. Combo, Rayhan at you, and that will trigger my doubling effect right away. Yeah, I get it. I get it. So I'm he's I'm picking up what you're putting down here. Yeah. Uh, uh, upside Hangman is now a impressive 7-7. Seven, seven. Hmm. Real flexy boy now. Uh, so we've got eight power coming at you, Austin. Mr. Combo, we've got eight power coming at you. Both trample. Yep. Get them. I guess. I could now. I could double block it. You could, but I'm not going to, for the greater good. All right. I'm throwing that out there. Sure. Just some good vibes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping that I don't get attacked with it again, you know. Come next turn being a 16 16 <laughs> all right down to 22 did uh, combo and i'm gonna uh, take the eight as well you're taking the eight okay yeah wow. all right i got you at 30 no i'm at 32 right now yeah, so 32 right now yeah oh you're so at 32 eight, currently yeah, 24 how did you yeah. take six? Oh. uh rayhan's eight power yeah, but before yep. that, what put you at 32? Uh, I think oh, I oh never mind. I'm looking at the wrong life total. I told you. You're you're supposed to be in the top right. Okay, I got you 32. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you, you're taking 8? Yep, 24. Okay. And I'll keep track of command damage, because that could yes. be relevant. Yes. Oh, man, I totally forgot about that. I guess All right, and that will be my turn. That's, that'll that's my make it place. my turn. And we will draw a card. All right. Not what I wanted, but here's another legendary land. God Eyes Gate of uh, Riki, Rikai. That it is. All right. I think <clears throat> where we're at is we're going to start with this nice little guy here tapping two lands for white and play my face down card it's a, a mangara oh yep what <laughs> tap exile target permanent yep plop it in Why? amber and... well and mangara yeah they both get exiled 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mangara gets exiled too. That's important. Uh, and that's gonna trigger. That's gonna trigger Oketra too, which yep. gets me a nice, uh, nice four four, which I don't seem to have any with my tokens for some reason. Uh, we'll figure that out in a minute. Other than that, I think we're gonna go ahead and. Did I run out of? <laughs> I think I ran out of uh, colored mana. Oh no, I've got I've got one more white. It's hiding on <laughs> the Sun Petal Grove. All right. Um, that also triggers uh, Hazardous Monument because it's a cast trigger, so I can uh, discard and draw, and I'll discard Scattered Grove and draw something. Yeah, so we'll go two more mana for an Eily. That'll trigger Hazardous Monument and Guardian Project. I'll draw first with Guardian Project. And Oketra. And Oketra. Very important. Make two. Value Town is on Austin's board. Hard right. Floor. That's uh, yep. that's a big part of this deck is focusing in on that uh, that value. Let's see if I have a four four of sorts. Some kind of substitution for the time being. Oh, we've got the perfect one. It's a uh, it's a four four zombie human wizard warrior from from the same set or from from the original set. A four four, so that's all it's gonna be. Um, yeah. So what do we what do we do here? I am out of colored sources, which would be honestly, it'd be great if I had a. Uh... What I actually see is a lot of mana to activate Hangman a bunch. Of times. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do. I know you do. I've got a lot of mana for it. <laughs> Hangman. Uh, seven seven right now. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to the uh, Hydra, he got swole real quick. Yeah. Well, we're not doing that, okay? <laughs> we're not Austin, going Austin, I thought that this was a fun game of play, power, <laughs> and punches. It, it is, but I, I make my own destiny, you know? <laughs> I bring my own uh, bring my own cards to the table. Um, yeah, where are we right now? PJ has a big board. I, I think we're, time. I think we're weirdly in pass mode. So who knows? Passing maybe I'll, through? yeah, maybe I'll activate hangman later, but I'm, I'm passing. I think we're All in right. a good spot with everyone else at the table. No reason to bring everyone's life totals down. All right. Uh, I'm going to pay four. I'm going to cast Hate Mirage. That's a sweet card. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, and, and I think I'm going to be targeting a Shalai and uh, a, a Withengar. <laughs> yeah, Withengar is pretty cool. Nice. You have uh, so a here's going to be some unique stuff. Uh, I will draw out the tokens, but we're going to have an Anointed Procession trigger. So I'm going to create two more copies. Yep. Withengar is legendary. I'm actually going to keep the oh, Anointed Lamar. Procession copies since the hate mirage ones would get exiled at the end of turn okay right. so uh, non -hasty beautiful, permanent beautiful. Ones. yep getting the non-hasty ones and then tristini is going to trigger all four times so i'm going to gain 36 life okay wow that seems good so i'll be at 60 you and are at 60 it, watching at home that's math <laughs> all right <clears throat> Um, I will then move to combat. I think for the greater good. Uh, yeah, I guess I could just. So I have a question for you, PJ. What's are up? We, are we friends? Oh, God. Oh, we're cool. We're totally cool. Yeah, we're please, totally cool. Please so, don't so be I, friends. Like so <laughs> Austin wants to destroy my board. Austin like knows what my deck does. So like he very much wants to like he's he's my problem right now. I want to deal with a thirteen thirteen and a Marari's wake. All right, <laughs> that's yeah. I don't want to deal with you. I want to deal with <laughs> the the so biggest. So because Austin wants to deal with me, I want to deal with him. The that's biggest right. threatening board. That's a bad decision. <laughs> uh, I will then go ahead and pass because I believe in friendship. Oh, goodness. Right. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, at the end step, I'm going to do some stuff. Uh, I'm going to play this Shield of Cauldra, and that'll free equip onto the Withengar. Yep. Uh, I have one mana floating from that. I'm going to go ahead and activate uh, Hangman five times. Yeah! <laughs> oh, the fouls are left. Let's try a Y. <laughs> Sorry, Vanna, there's no Ys. All right. Uh, let's try an S. S has already been guessed. I'll give you a freebie on that. Uh, how about an N? There are no Ns. What's that? That was two of my five? That was two, yep. Uh, let's go for a B. There is one B. So B-O-U-T. And you've got uh, two more guesses. And there's no A's, no E's, no S's, no N's. And no Y. And no Y. God, no, I don't even know where I'm at now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now I'm just confused. Uh, H. There is no H. Okay. And how about a G? There is no G. I'm going to write this down. I'm going to like need to see this visually after. <laughs> uh, I have it written down. I've been keeping a track over here. Uh, and Hangman is now a super swole 11-11. There you go. <laughs> All right, I will start my turn on tap. Draw. <laughs> hmm. Things. Green, blue, white, black, red. Okay. Hmm. I almost wish I would have mirrored landscaped uh, differently. Turn two, you know? That that feels like a lifetime ago, but... Austin, do you have open mana? Uh, I have five open mana. Oh, man. So much. I know. That is so much. Um, if I did that, I'll take that. And... Oh, God, that backfires. That all seems terrible. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. So don't do it. Yep. yep. You sleep well enough alone. Do that. Oh, maybe you do that. Um... You could do this, and you could do that, and mm -hmm. you could do this. <laughs> oh man, whatever it is, it's all bad for me. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking about <laughs> right now. Oh, uh, I'm just like one short of everything I want to do. So frustrating. Darn. Start with us open the armory. I'm so bummed. Ooh. Okay, go ahead and grab anything you want. It's going to be a Feast and Famine. Okay. No surprise Ooh. there. PJ's grabbing a Feast and Famine. That's the thing. Um. Have you uh, have you considered grabbing other equipments? You know that there are... <laughs> there are no other equipment. <laughs> there are other, other equipments in Magic. Feast and Famine. There's Man. even a, a couple new uh, swords out there, you know? Sort of... Yeah, uh, they're mediocre. Yeah, but sort of proliferate and sort of kill a planeswalker, you know? That's <laughs> yeah. Those are the ones so you need to grab. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but if he swings, if he swings it at me, Croster. That's no good. I don't want to get attacked. Oh, there's a thing I want to do. I can't do it this turn. Makes okay, me... cool. <laughs> I'm hearing. I'm. I'm hearing nothing but good news. You know. <laughs> One, two, 
One, two, three, four, five. Uh, what does this thing do? Does this help at all? Nope. Also good. Well, I'm glad you can live with it, but but I won't. I'll be out of the game. <laughs> All right. Uh, nah. Austin, I'm going to send the big trampoline withingar your way. It's a 13-13 currently, correct? E 14 with the Murray's Wake. Oh, with the Murray's Wake. Okay. Any blocks? I'm going to I'm going to put my two four fours in front of it. What color are they? They're black. Okay, cool. I thought did the zombies have reach? Oh, it's a flyer. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Um then probably no blocks. I mean, okay. Blocking uh, with Shalai just seems bad. I'm going to make Wooberg twice. Yep. I'm going to activate Sisse once. Um, this is all bad news. I'm going to get a Joyra Weatherlight Captain. Mm-hmm. I'm going to use the second Wooberg to cast the Feast and Famine. Draw a card off of... Uh... Off of Joyra. Uh, so I have Wooberg floating. Uh, cast the Feast and Famine. That leads me with... You actually don't cast the card, you just put it onto the battlefield. Uh, the Feast and Famine's from my hand. He's casting oh, okay. Feast and Famine. Yeah. Um, and how do you have, you said you had Wooberg, Wooberg. How do you have Wooberg remaining? Because doesn't, oh, you're saying piece... with. Yeah, oh, I'm tapping everything. Or I'm tapping, the Mar... tapping everything with the Marari's Wake, using one Wooberg to get Joyra. The second one's going to pay for the Feast and Famine, which leaves me with two floating. Okay, that's what I was wondering. You have two floating. Before, yeah. before the uh, sword triggers onto him, yeah. I'm going to respond. I'm sure I'm not going to like this. He's got 14 power right now, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to pay a black. I'm going to activate Retribution of the Ancients, and I will okay. remove 14 <laughs> counters to give him minus 14, minus 14. Okay. <laughs> give me a second. All right. So we floating the trip. We saw this card come down turn one, too, and we just, like... I've been patiently waiting. Right. I, I know uh, you've had it for a couple turns now. Or something of the sorts. Crap. Yeah. So I had to wait till the sword's trigger was on the stack. Right. Just make yeah. him spin the mana. I would almost yep. I would have almost suggested paying a little bit more just to make sure it doesn't grow in size, you know. Oh I, I draw a card. Sorry, I forgot to come. Alright. That sucks. Alright. Yeah, within guard down. Alright. Hallelujah. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> you can kill me now. I've made my amazing <laughs> play. Right. But I will not reveal the word reveal the word. I am, uh, that is, yeah, that is a tragic slip right there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that is a, that is a good retribution. Yep. Okay. Main phase two? Uh-huh. Board wide. Right. <laughs> it's a very PJ just... thing to do. Um... Um, for Crofster, he had Raf Capuchin out so he could cast it with Flash, and with the Hammer of Nizan, it lets him auto-equip. Right. 
and so he he's responding into the to the equipping yep. yeah it's it's a whole bunch of uh the hammer and is on is a really good card <laughs> yeah yeah it really is it needs a reprint pretty badly yeah. yeah yeah i'm sure it will we're, we're getting commander legends soon right guys you know not to date this video but yeah know. I mean, Commander Legends came out already, right? Those watching this afterwards, <laughs> wasn't that a great set? You know, I'm gonna move my Feast and Famine to Sisse. Seems good. No responses. No responses. And that'll do it. Go ahead. Oh, those are some beautiful tokens. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, it's about to be my turn. Does anybody want to activate my hangman? Uh, Not anymore. You shot my thing. Yeah, I'll activate it. <laughs> I'll activate it. Okay. Let's okay. go uh, three times. Okay. Um, hmm. Has R been guessed? R has not been guessed. I would like to guess R. L? There are two R's. So we got T-O-U and two R's? Uh, uh, you have... B. You have T O U, a B and two R's, correct? And a and did did we guess L? I'm at guessing L. That's my. Okay, that's your second one. There is not an L. Okay. Well, we are at six, so we only need one or two more letters. Correct. Cool. Okay. Um, we guessed A E, U. Uh, so I. I don't think I's been guessed. I is the final letter. Got it. The word for those watching at home is burrito. Burrito. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Hangman will be sacrificed uh, because of <laughs> Rayhan's ability. His five plus one plus one counters can go onto a different creature. To Rayhan, yeah. Or no, or to Shandra. anyone, anyone, yeah. So I will yeah. put them on Shalai. Yeah. You got it. Yep um and that was fun yeah it was good <laughs> uh okay so i'll untap uh upkeep uh let's see after my draw the eldest reborn will trigger yep, so we all discard. discard card. oh no okay Ooh, i was I'm not discard for desolation this. twin i seem to be a little little off on the mana for that mm. all right uh stone hero giant down okay um, I don't want a discard. <laughs> Goodbye, days of day of destiny. <laughs> Goodbye, good friends. Uh, I don't know if that was the right choice, but that's the choice I made. I guess it's a legendary enchantment. I could always bring it back. Oh, thank God. I'm like <laughs> I'm like, you know, sweating over here about something that I can easily bring back. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, I'm going to play a Selesnian Guildgate and tapped because, you know, I play powerful cards. And uh, we'll tap the Mana Geode for a white and then three more. Uh, again, I'll have Murmuring Boss make a green so I don't take the damage. And I will cast the Abzan Battle Priest. Nice. So now That's all... lifelink, right? Yep, that is lifelink. So all my guys will now have lifelink that have plus one, yep. plus one counters. Yeah. And we will move to attack phase. Um, Do we want to hold for burrito. someone's yeah, burrito? Yeah, that was actually, that was our, uh, our air fryer. The uh. microwave actually has broken during the stream. Uh -oh. So I will oh, no. be going to go get a new microwave after this. I don't know where. Are <laughs> microwaves a thing that people worry about? Um, no. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to move to attack phase. Mm -hmm. And let's send over... Uh, Mr. Combo, you have no flyers, correct? I have a 13-13. I have yeah, a he's got a Withingar. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. Um, I still might attack. <laughs> uh, because I'm reckless. Uh, yeah, I will declare attack. Uh, Shalai will come at you, Mr. Combo, and the Colonian Hydra will come at uh, PJ. So I will double. The Hydra. 
Um, the Good. Hydra will become an 8-8. Eight, eight. Did that trample? Yes. It's, it's not already an 8-8? Eight, eight? No, it. I had you to remove, remove counters. all counters. Oh. oh, I see four counters now. I thought it's a four. Yep. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Now continue, it, continue. When it attacks, I forgot it's a 0-0 zero, zero to start, you know. Yeah. I thought it was like a 4-4 yep. four, four that gets, I don't know. Continue. Okay. Uh, I'm going to block the Hydra with Raf Capuchin and Sisse Weatherlight Captain. Mm. Okay. And I will block Shalai with Withengar. Okay. Uh, and Withengar is just a 13-13, right? Uh, intimidate, flying, trample. Okay. But that's it. Yeah, because she's 13-14, so. Uh, oh, she's a 13-14. Yep, oh. she, yep. I thought she only had five plus one plus one counters. She did, but when Colonian Hydra attacks, he doubles all the counters on every creature I control that has plus one counters. Every oh. creature. Wow. Every creature. Yeah, he's bonkers. Okay. It's okay. I'm about to take care of that. How big is the Hydra? <laughs> Hydra right now is an 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'm double blocking, and Sisse is a 10-10, and Raph is a 6-something. Okay. Oof. This game is crazy, by the way. Actually, you know what? I think I'm fine with that. I could take 13. I have 60 life. <laughs> you do have 60 yeah, life. Just take it, man. No, just no yeah, you're fine. Life. I'm uh, over here sweating bullets trying to do math. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll go to 47? Yes, sir. Okay. PJ, you double blocked and what else? Anything else? Uh, I took no damage. It should kill the Hydra. It will kill the Hydra. Yes, that is correct. And I will move its counters to the Absam Battle Priest, and I will have gained uh, yeah. 21 life. There we go. Uh, life. So that'll put you at 59, if I'm not mistaken. That sounds good. I'll take 59. 59 sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's pretty good for you. Yep. Okay. And that's all I've got. I will pass my turn. All right. So I'm debating on whether or not holding a grudge is a good thing. <laughs> I've been I've been thinking about it this entire time as everyone else plays good fun magic. I get to play a forest. Uh we're we're still debating. We're going to we're going to play slow play this uh this decision here. It's basically do I or don't I want to make pj suffer for for attacking me with a 14 14 i mean that that attack did not get through yeah and, yeah uh, i you, know you, that you wasn't left, you left my radar at this point that wasn't yeah okay okay hmm do i make deals with the devil you know uh i'm gonna play a, i'm gonna play a soren to start this is uh the vengeful the 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 vengeful version this is your a stuff uh, has a uh, life gain on your on your turn right as long as it's your turn planeswalkers and creatures you control have life link uh which i you know i saw everyone else was doing the life gain thing so i thought why not join in a bit you know um first i'll start by pinging uh pj for one you know, that's that's the beginning of my spite, Jesus. you know, 24 down to 24 and I gain a life, you know, <laughs> uh, putting me up to 23. So just just get that out of the way. Put this guy up to six. And now with my remaining mana. I will. Activate Kethis. <laughs> Raf cap shenanigans. Oh my gosh. Right. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> uh, exiling Gaunti and Vivian, paying three mana for a Day of Destiny. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I also don't. I only have to pay three for Soren too. What am I doing? Yeah. 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 Soren only costs three. So there it is. My whole team's getting plus two, plus two, because guess what? Everything I have is legendary, except the tokens, but we'll get to that. Um, is there anything else I want to do here? Okay. That's a 13-13. Justin, you have been very kind to me, sir, and that will not go unnoticed when my <laughs> combat 
uh, comes comes across. If it wasn't going to be the kindness, I was going to beg for mercy because of my broken microwave. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> hmm. I still feel like I got to deal with PJ in some way. What? Not Dang. not ultimately, but just just in some way, you know. It's that sword hate. Let's uh, let's just get the let's let's tap my my, my Mangara, and we're gonna exile. Uh, I think we're gonna exile Raph. Yeah, I think Raph is the choice. Yeah, Raph does some uh, pretty crazy things. Yeah, I know I should be getting rid of the sword that's equipped to it, but Raph also seems good. Okay, so those are gone. I thought I had a hand. I guess I don't. Do I not have a hand? You weren't just like holding empty sleeves or anything, were you? No, no. <laughs> okay. I will also pay two mana and lose a life thanks to thanks to not controlling an ogre. <laughs> cast, <laughs> cast Drama yeah. to draw a card and make a 4-4. Okay, so we're at 22. And you have to discard a card from the Hazards Monument, right? I may. It's a uh, it's a may ability. Oh, so you always get to draw a card? So, no, I, I draw a card is from discards. Guardian Project. Oh, from Guardian Project. Okay, yeah. okay, sorry. That's what... Um, yeah, it. yeah. I'll shut up now. No, you're good, you're good. Um, Let's make another 4-4, four four, by the way, that can't attack. This one currently cannot. Wherever it is, where you need, like a spicy little image that just like pops up real quick. That's like too many tokens. Right. <laughs> this this token's gonna be one. Magic so Online just crashes. Right. <laughs> All the trigger token oh. limit. <laughs> Goodbye. And uses the old AOL. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> the door sound. <laughs> <laughs> okay, PJ. What's up? You're taking uh, seven in the air. Seven, Jesus! Uh, you really want to play this game? Are we playing this game? I mean, we're playing a game. I'm. You should yeah. see where I'll, where my other attackers are going, no, mind you. That's, that's... Uh, it's gonna be eight at Mister Combo. Another God Eternal catcher is gonna head that way too. And you know what? Uh, since I'm I'm definitely losing something here for my attacks. That's not a. I'm gonna swing with Kethis too. So we're swinging all out, at you, Mister Combo, oh. with everything else except for uh, nice little Eilie. I'm gonna keep that back. All right. Uh, well, my Withengar is gonna go at God Eternal Oketra. Okay. Uh, my Shalai will actually hold on. Uh, you're swinging Shalai at me as well. Uh, yeah. No, Shalai is coming in at PJ in the air. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, my Shalai will block one of your zombie tokens. Okay. Um, and then uh, what's the power, total power and toughness of Kethis? Kethis is a five, 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 six. Five, six. Okay. And then I'm going to double block your other zombie token with both two, five, Trostini and Geared. Okay. <clears throat> so I will just take your Kethis mm -hmm. for five. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's, PJ blocks. That's all that's happening. I don't think PJ uh, no has blocks any for blocks. Me. Yeah, oh, I no didn't know blocks. effects or anything. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'm going to put Oketra third from the top. Sure. And gain 10 life uh, plus another eight. That's 18. And then another <laughs> five. So 23 life. I'm back in it, guys. More like a uh, commander damage game. It is a commander damage game more, for more. sure. Yeah. I'm is at... there any other game? <laughs> but PJ is not going to be in the game anymore after this. I think you know we're all Poor gaining life, but he isn't. Poor PJ. He's at 17. You don't know me. You don't know my life. <laughs> I do. It's 17. Did we not? <laughs> 
Uh, Talk about my shadow spear sitting on the table downstairs. Right. I'll I'll pass from here. <laughs> okay. At your instep, uh, Justin, what's the ultimate on that uh, saga? Uh, put target creature or planeswalker card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under my control. Hmm. I don't actually know that. what is in anybody's graveyard. Well, I, I guess you won't get the cast for that. I have a Desolation Twin, but that doesn't really do you any good. It's yeah. just a vanilla tin mm -hmm. Yeah. He'll probably um, choose his own Hydra, let's be honest. Yeah. Or Hangman for more shenanigans. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and pay a life. And I'm going to cast Sundering Growth. Targeting... Uh, Guardian Project. Burning Project is down. Got him. And then I'm going to populate. I wish Guardian uh, Project was legendary. Just throwing that out there. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'll make another Withengar. I'll sack that one, but actually it makes two copies. So I'll gain 26, 26 life. life. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of life. Uh, okay, this is where you're going to 67. Like, meh! You are at 67. All right. So that's just like a casual end step gain 20 life, you know. Um, PJ, you got a Heartless Hidetsku in there, right? In this deck? No. No. <laughs> Who needs life totals? So I'm going to pay four and play a Parallel Lives. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> a lot of tokens. And yeah. a lot more life. Uh, that's, that's, that's the big thing. I'm, I'm going to make it In response, how big is Trostani? 2-5. Uh, okay. I'm just going to pay a black, and I'm going to minus 5 off of the Abzan Battle Priest to minus 5, minus 5, and with Retribution. Uh, okay. What's How much does Shalai's activated ability? Is it 6? It's six. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that just kills my fun. You know that. <laughs> I let it's you gain murder, all though. that. I let you gain twenty six life. That's how right. I'm feeling too, man. I could have done it beforehand. I did all the hard leg work to get that Withengar into play, and, and now <laughs> you're reaping the benefits. <laughs> They're watching um, someone else. Mm. Well, I think I might want to gain thirty nine life since you're doing that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, why don't we just go ahead and use Trostini's ability that literally never gets used, uh, populate <laughs> with Ingar. I'll make three with Ingar's oh, gain 39. All right. Oh, I was doing it in response to the parallel lives coming in. Oh, okay. So I will gain, well, you'll gain another 26. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> we'll just say trust any down. Oh, you're not. Uh, okay, you don't want it. Yeah, <laughs> only if not, it's thirty nine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Twenty six. No way. <laughs> not enough life. <laughs> um, let's swing Withengar at Austin. Man, thirteen, thirteen, flying, that. intimidate, trample. Not at Soren. <laughs> I'm just asking, just asking. For a friend. Uh, I'll take 13. Okay. Put you down to 32, um, and then I will pass. All right. I survived. <laughs> you did survive. Um, that that was always going to be the case, BJ. People, I don't know, it was looking dicey for a moment. Yeah, I guess Withengar could have just came in and slammed. Yeah, with yeah, Withengar, multiple Withengars, anything like right. that. It's all Withengar plus combats is scary. It's all it would have taken. Yeah. Um. Let me see. All right, move. You still got double mana, Peach. Like, I do, yeah. but this deck is 
Ferrari's wake all the way. It doesn't help this deck. This deck is so <laughs> mana hungry. <laughs> we get that Nyx Bloom guy, then maybe. There you go, like, there you go. Yeah. Double mana is not enough for this deck. Uh, I'm going to pay to move the Shield of Cauldra to Sisse. Uh, Justin, what color blockers do you have? I have a white blocker, and then I have a uh, Golgari blocker. Okay. Uh, Neither of which have flying, if that matters. Austin, what color blockers you got? Uh, they're all black. Hmm, yeah. Uh, Justin, I'm going to go your way with Sisse. Okay. Um... So it's got protection from black and green, and I think it's a 10 10. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll take it. Uh, no blocks? Nope. Okay, I'm going to activate twice. Sure. That's four okay. activations, possibly. I don't know. I'm going to get a black leader forged. <laughs> 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 I think that's lethal. I'll just like flip my deck over and just right. That might it. be lethal. And an ember cleave. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's definitely lethal. That's, that's commander damage right there. Uh, anybody want me to take something out of the game before I die with my, um, my can Can you not remove enough counters to like in response to these activations, like the equipment? How big is it? Before well, before the black uh, blade. Sissy is pro black. Yeah, oh, Sissy is right. pro black. Oh, pro yeah, black yeah, I've got, I've got oh, okay. I mean, if you can just get rid of the Jora. Yeah, I guess the Jora. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so Rude. I'll take black. How big is Joyra? Uh she is a four four. Okay. Yep, I can do that. I've got enough counters there. But then yeah, I, I super explode. <laughs> yeah. I think even if you blocked, you still would have super exploded. Like Oh yeah. <laughs> But now he just gets to untap, you know. <laughs> okay, so I get a sword trigger. That's that's the, first the problem. One. Luckily, you're not gaining life. Woo! That's the first <laughs> hit. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, so that's the, the problem. Point. Double yep. Ember Cleave, two untaps means six activations. Uh, the first one I'm going to go for... Where is it? Uh, so we get two activations. It's going to be Padim. Oh, yeah. These guys and... have vigilance, don't they? My nice uh, O'Catcher to tokens. Let me just look at it and double check. O'Catcher yep. tokens do have vigilance, yeah. So they are not tapped, which is great. Okay, so now your artifacts can't be targeted to spells or abilities. Congratulations. Uh, and Goto Bandit Warlord getting Pariah Shield, which will free equip onto Sisse. Okay. <laughs> all right. This is all fine. <laughs> this is all fine. No big deal. And then my lands will untap one more time. Yep. You shot Joyra, correct? I yeah, did. Yeah, Joyra's gone. Joyra's gone. Okay. I... I... I sandblasted her. And and yeah. see, I, what, what I find most interesting about this these interactions right now, PJ, is that you were saying only moments ago how you you shouldn't be the target. You know? <laughs> like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Right, exactly. You, you downplay your threat <laughs> level so often. <laughs> so, I mean, the thing, like, the problem is no one's really played, like, that much removal. I think with Ingar, with, like, the thing to get shot this game yeah and any bit of removal just like tears this deck apart right but realize. that could be said about any deck uh some decks recover well this deck does not recover well <laughs> right uh then PJ, I guess just remember i let you keep your marari's wake so kill me last right you you uh, guys that, were your friends you that, know that's that's totally legit um, luckily um, this is all post combat thank goodness yeah. it uh, only took to put this Justin loser on. Hey, I'll take what I have to take, right. you know. I'm gonna actually I got to cast Hangman. I'm pretty happy overall. I'm gonna put Hammer of Nazan on the Padim. And then I shall pass my turn. 
So Padim is now indestructible. Okay. Yes, it is. Uh, that makes it my turn, right? Oh my god. Yeah, that does make it your turn. Okay, hold on. End step. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice two of these tokens to gain eight life. Uh, thanks to uh, Eilie, sacrifice another creature, gain life equal to their toughness. That'll put me up to 40. Um, because I am trying to get to at least 10 more than my starting life total here. <laughs> uh, so, here goes nothing. Uh, untap, draw. Man, we are just drawing all the lands. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, PJ, take another one. I'm plus. Oh, actually, maybe I won't plus it. Maybe you. Maybe you're safe. Yeah. Okay. I'll. Uh, hmm. No, because I can't bring anything back. No, the graveyard sucks. Hmm. These can attack you, so that's good. You don't have any flyers, right, PJ? Uh, no he has flyers. Prior shield. You have prior shield. I can deal with that. Uh, he has Padim. Okay. So you got to deal with Padim. I can deal with Padim and Pariah shield. There you go. Deal with a, yeah. a lot of what he's got going on. So I guess I can't attack him. Um. Can I can I make some deals with you uh with you over there combo? Can I? Uh. Uh, I, I guess I'll hear the deal. Offer uh, I don't some, really like getting hit. <laughs> offer some non-commander damage so that I can just slowly tear apart PJ's board. That's the that's the deal. So why do you have to hit me to do that? Uh, in order to get Eile up to... I need 10 more than my starting life total so I can start paying 3 and sacrificing my board to start, uh, start dealing with what he's got over there. Okay. So if you swing the bare minimum to get you 10 above, that's yeah, fine. that's fair with me. So we will do that. I will swing with you for four. And actually, let's just go Shalai is five and uh, 10 or more. Start at least 10, 10 life more than your starting life total. So yes, I will swing at you for exactly 10. All right, that's fine. Put me up to 50. Any any responses? Nope. I have responses. They're in combat. Okay. Uh, Such an activate. Game. Activate this twice. Sure. Uh. Ooh, I can do that. No, I can't do that. Maybe. I don't think you can do any of what you're thinking you can do. But we'll try. We're hoping to get there. Oh, you know what? This is a little bit... I, I think I have to attack a little differently, actually, because I realized uh, Day of Destiny has given them more power. But it's still going to be the same thing. I think, PJ, you're still going to respond in turn, Okay, right? so Imbolus' clutches on Eilie? Uh, you can't. Shall I? Shit. Yep. Um, all right then. So the bare minimum will actually have to be... Hmm. Four, five, six. This is not quite there. Unfortunately, I think I, I do have to attack with one more creature. Maybe I don't. This is four. That's four. That's nine. Okay, so yeah, I actually have to attack with Drana and Shalai in order to get the, the minimum damage instead of Kethos. Okay. But it's still going to be the same result. Because I forgot about I I, I want to still make it the minimum damage. You know, we talked about it. Ooh, so. cool. Five. Okay. It's probably the same result, but that's where we are. 
What what do you got, PJ? You, I don't think you got anything. Uh, so all your stuff has hexproof, and I have hexproof, and you have hexproof. Right, um, Shalai is a good card. Well, Shalai herself doesn't have hexproof. Shalai doesn't have hexproof. So by all means, target Shalai. Yeah, Imbolus's clutch is on Shalai. And then... Well, I guess first, does that resolve Austin, or do you have a I have effect? a response. I'm going to sacrifice Shalai. Okay. Uh, so that'll gain me... Seven life. Does Imbolus's clutches go to the graveyard as a result yes. of that? I believe so. It's kind of got strange wording on it. Um, then the second thing I'll get is Helm of Cauldra. And I will free equip that to Godo, I guess. Okay, proceed with the text. Okay, so now it's just a Drana. Yep, so I take three. Uh, four. Four, okay. One... So three, four should be sixty-three. Yep, that's much less than we originally anticipated. Thanks to PJ. But you got above your starting life total, so you're good. Right, so I gain eleven. Or yeah, no eleven. That's right. Up to fifty-one. Okay, so why is that tapped? Did I cast anything? I don't think so. Oh, I, I tapped to sacrifice. Okay, so we are at 51. Time to bring the pain. I don't know what the pain is, but I'm bringing it. <laughs> I'm going to start uh, by second main phase. I'm going to minus... Soren four. Get back Shalai. Is that okay, PJ? You don't have any more yeah. activations, do you? Yeah, I'm out of mana. Okay. I can activate it three times, my Eily. So my best targets are going to be... The Padim and the Pariah Shield, for sure. So I'm exiling Padim by sacrificing my token, Andrana. So there go Padim and Pariah Shield. Okay, those are exiled. And then, you know what? We're going to leave up the last activation, I think. That'll be something that'll happen later. That's it. All right. Untap. Oh, when the he lost the game, I got 13 plus one plus one counters. Oh, oh yeah. I, about that. <laughs> I forgot about that as well. Suffer upon my death. Right. <laughs> All right, a uh, cool 26 26. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, I am. All right, I'm going to move to combat. Uh, and you currently have no flying, is that correct, good sir? Which one? You, uh, you PJ. PJ. Yeah, no flyers. Okay. And you have your own Shalai. Yep, I've got a Shalai. Uh, so, PJ, here's the thing. I guess I could just kill you, mm -hmm. but do you want to try and kill Austin? Sure, go for it. <laughs> Can you well, deal with his Eily? I mean, that's the question. 
Oh, no. I mean, I'm just curious, because I either I just end you now, and then it's a one-on-one, -on -one, or do you want to try to exact revenge -y, uh, <laughs> oh, I, I, I to against exact that. revenge. I mean, like, Austin and I are going to tear each other apart, <laughs> like, trying to... <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> Bring it. All right. I mean, this. I think this way helps you the most... Uh most combo you know yeah all right well so I'm, I, I, I want to be switzerland mm -hmm. so i'm gonna move <laughs> to combat and i'm gonna swing 26 in the air at austin uh well now i have to activate eily so do i just deal with the 26 you can't it has hexproof it has hexproof great <laughs> i have my own shalai you do um right. i guess i'll deal with your shalai then so what Sac are you sacrificing? Uh, it's sacrifice another creature. Ugh. Uh, can I before before all this? Can I can I recommend that you attack Soren? No. Why okay. would I do that? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. I guess I'll just sacrifice my Shalai. Okay. With that so, activation on the stack. Yep. I will. I think go like that. I'm going to cast Rootborn Defenses, just give myself Indestructible till end of turn, but I'm going to populate. Ah. So I will make another copy of Shalai. And uh, the one that you targeted will disappear. Have Hexproof, yeah. Or, well, will it have Hexproof or it's just gone? Yeah. It, well, because they're legendary, so the legend gotcha. rule applies. Gotcha. So, so well, it means actually, I made nothing. like three of them. Right, yeah, it all right, means nothing. Right. I'll so take, take 26. 26. So I'm down to 25. I will pass. Does anyone have an artifact that's at least four CMC? Nope, three. Nope. Oh, wait, never mind. Padim is gone. Padim is gone, yeah. <laughs> that that was the whole point, right? Like, I'm also cleaning up my board since I have a lot less now. <laughs> Foresee some problems. Does that mean PJ is allowed to come at you at all, Combo? Is no, that the kind of, of deal? Not. Yeah, it's just kill me, die to yeah. you. Well, kill, yeah, well, you know. I just want Maybe to make he sure. Maybe can kill you and me in the same swing. Ah, I that, see. So you're, you're, you're allowing that level of justification for his survival, that he's allowed to possibly win the game. Oh, yeah. Know. Okay, okay. I'm into it. I'm into it. It's either an open hand or a closed fist. <laughs> right. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Uh, activate to say twice. No responses. Tapped out over here. All you, homie. So you got one big flyer in the Withingar? I got one big flyer. One big flyer. Um. Yeah, Pariah Shield is kind of like my life gain trick. And uh, with that gone, it's going to be rough. It's going to be really rough. Rough, just the way your mother likes it, Trebek. <laughs> I, I feel for you. I don't. I don't. Brought this upon yourself. Oh, hey, I forgot <laughs> I have that card. Yeah, okay. Which is win the game. You do need uh, uh you do need Shadow Spear though. That's your Let's get a Vona Butcher of Magan. Yep. Do you have a way to give it haste? Yep, Helm of Cauldra. Hmm. And mm... Yeah, I guess that is a way to give it haste. Two mana to equip. Not bad. Where'd it go? I lost it. Uh, Sharoom the Hegemon? Oh, interesting. I mean, I'm into it. I think this is like the first time I've seen you play Sharoom in that deck. Oh, I use it all the time. I have, this is the first time I've seen Sharoom. Really? Yeah. I love Sharoom. Uh, get back Elbrus the Binding Blade. 
in most cases, Sharoom just says, like, win game, or at least back in my day, you know. <laughs> oh, it still says win game, but it says right. win game with Elbrus the Binding Blade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a fun way of winning the game. <laughs> much much better, much better than than the old, because like, I I used to be a degenerate. I know this may like <laughs> surprise you, but when I first started playing EDH back in the the two thousands, you know, when the format first existed. I was all for the combos and the you know fun stuff, and now I'm now I'm like an old man, you know, now not you're really into the lame stuff. <laughs> right. I'm into the lame stuff. I'm not I'm not a yeah. spike anymore. I'm just like I've I've seen it all before. I've done it all before. You know, yeah. nothing surprises me. <laughs> all right, move home of Caldra to Vona. You got it. Uh, play sort of Caldra. Put that on Vona. Assembling Cauldra as per as per <laughs> usual, you know. Yep. Are you assembling it actually? Do you have the mana? Like uh no, I'm I'm one piece. One, uh, yeah. Do I have all three pieces? You do have all three pieces. Oh, I do have all three No, I'm out of mana. Yeah, I thought you were out of mana. But I hope to hope to remedy that soon. Uh Austin, everything your way. Dead. Really everything? Come on, bud. Like, yeah, we made a deal. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have a I have a serious question though. Do you die on the first hit? Oh, uh, I'm at twenty five. What's the first hit? Uh, Does any of it have first strike? You you're just double strike guy would be the first hit. So is that twenty five? Double strike. Is it twenty one? I guess is the question. Because if so, um, I one, do die on the first strike. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh dear God! And then nine, ten, and then I'm sure you have Wooberg out there, so that'll be yeah. fifteen. Do you have an additional six power and equipments, uh, not including your black blade? Two, I mean, you'll get two, three, four. No. Yep. Okay, so no, I don't. No, you would. Oh, I would. Yeah, because you only needed another. Let's see. Hold on, because you had eight lands. Eight. She's a two power, so that's mm -hmm. ten. Wooberg is five, so that's fifteen. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's twenty-three on the first hit, or something, and that's twenty-one commander damage. Yep. Oh, well, that makes me sad. Now Vona doesn't get a hit. Well, all right then. So we get one on tap. Yep. No Vona. Uh, that's okay though. We have a second combat. Uh, Mister Combo Vona in. Actually, what do you have? You have a Withingar. Uh, I have a tapped 2626 Withingar, a Gearid, and a Shirai. Or Shalai, whatever. Shalai. Okay. Uh, yeah. Send Vona in your way. How big is she? Uh, it's got plus six, plus six on a 4-4. Four, four. That is a 10-10. Ten, ten. Oh, no, I do. Uh, sorry. Helm of Cauldra gives it first strike, so I do gain the life from the first Vona hit. That is, yep, you got it. Okay. So uh, it's got 10 power. Okay. So you gain 10. Uh, so what I'm going to do, ding down one, and I'm going to cast Second Harvest, making another copy of Withingar without uh, the counters. I'm probably going to respond to that. Okay. Uh, you still have a Shalai in play? Correct. <laughs> yeah, that seems fine. Okay. So we're going to make an untapped Withingar. So and the, I will... the tapped one goes away, the 26. Correct. Yeah. So then I will block my untapped Withingar at her. Okay. Uh, I will activate Vona to exile the Shalai. Okay. And I'm going to have to pay some life to do that. Seven life. And seven life. Back down to 20. Uh, but then you gain... Then... Do you gain life from the second combat? Is that what... Was that Withingar in play when Austin died? Yeah, it wouldn't have mattered, though. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, I uh, I didn't do it the proper way. I should have created a copy that would have saw Austin die to have an untapped 2626, but I didn't do it until PJ swung at me. Right. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. 
So then Cauldra hits the Withingar. Yep. And the Cauldra trigger will exile the Withingar. How big is the Withingar? Big enough to kill. Oh. Oh, oh. yeah, because first strike and I... Cauldra. Well, oh, I yeah. totally forgot Cauldra doesn't exile. Okay. Yeah, it's a 13 13. Yeah, when it deals damage, remove that creature from the game, and you deal damage before before Withingar yep. does. Well, that's well, silly. Yeah. So, uh, double check my life total. I was at 17. I gained 20 10. and then paid you gained, 7. You were at 17. You gained 10. You paid 7 back down to 20. And now you're during your second combat, you're gaining 10 uh, again. 10 again because of first strike. Yep. So that'll put you at 30. Sweet. Uh, what do we got? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. My Wooberg stack. We can't let PJ win. It's not. It's not a thing that should happen right now. <laughs> Do your worst. <laughs> I'm dead. Like that was it. I did my worst. I tried uh, move, so move hard. On to room. <laughs> and I think that's everything. Go ahead. All right. I think I'm going to be dead. <laughs> yep. No. So <laughs> let's draw. Mm. That's just a land. Because um, your commander has pro green. And pro black. Yeah. Yes, it does. Yep. So that'll be game. Only thing I can play is an anger, which you can just uh, exile with Vona. So. All right. Good, Good game. game. Good game, guys. I'm 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 a little disappointed, <laughs> but it is a well well deserved victory, PJ. That was that was some crazy uh, equipment combos, you know. Uh, I definitely politicked for the win, and I didn't actually think I was gonna like live past attacking you but yeah uh, yeah i forgot vona vona does things Vona's a good card you know i i think like it means like even though your deck is is very fun and, and very like silly it, it shows you the power of tutoring for any card in your deck you know oh it's absurd yeah like yeah. that ability to be able to grab any card i think is what turns that you know casual deck into something that can you know win out of nowhere like we we, it's we saw it take to make Elvis the binding blade playable right nobody expects it right <laughs> but uh yeah, yeah i think yeah that... i was gonna say definitely the the issue the mistake that i made is probably you should have just kept mine to be a 39 39 uh since you had to tap vona to exile right. shirai and then just take the initial hit from her mm -hmm. um yeah that, that's probably what i should have done right I mean, granted you did have a shroom in play and i didn't have trample but still uh could at least swung in and maybe done something well withingar um, has trample so oh he does yeah yeah withingar has trample naturally oh yeah. okay so that, yeah uh, i mean i ooh, would that have killed you i guess what, it might have yeah it might have. I, don't, I don't know what it had look at that i think it would have if uh, it was a 39 39 like you say you know yeah yeah that would have done it but I still have Raska in my deck, which I use as like a single target removal, so I probably shoot it. But you wouldn't be able to do that at instant speed. Uh, no. But if it was still in play when I un like at my main phase two, oh, I, gotcha. I would have done it then. Because yeah, that's always the case. You know, there's definitely. I think that's what's interesting about Commander is you're able to do these you know interactive plays and how things would have turned out differently and. You know, we'll we'll have to run run it back again sometime. You know, in the future with with different decks or same decks. You know, variants. It's all about variants. <laughs> uh, but it was good. It was great streaming with you guys. Great games. Um, yeah, awesome. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, again, YouTube links in the description for all decks as well as links to everyone's content definitely look out for that uh, real soon here you know if you enjoyed the video give it a like tell us why share on social media and subscribe to the channel and you can also help us out directly by subscribing to our patreon 
where you'll be able to see new episodes of the Multiverses series before anyone else. Thank you to our current Patreon supporters, and thank you for watching.